one. Okay, this is section two, early human migration. Uh, we know what migration is from our vocabulary. It's to move around. Um, and the big idea is that as people migrated around the world, they learned to adapt to new environments. The main ideas are people moved out of Africa as the Earth's climates changed and people adapted to new environments by making clothing and new types of tools. So main idea one, people moved out of Africa as the Earth's climates changed. Um, you've probably heard of ice ages or seen the movie Ice Ages. Um, and ice ages caused people to migrate or move uh, to new places. Early people migrated around the world. Uh, complete global migration took hundreds of thousands of years. So it wasn't a quick thing. It, it did take hundreds of thousands of years for um, people to move all over uh, the world. The Ice Ages. Uh, about 1.6 million years ago, many places around the world began to experience long periods of freezing weather called the Ice Ages. And you should be pretty familiar with this. Uh, we talked about that when we went to Thatcher Park as well. The Ice Ages ended about 10,000 years ago. During the Ice Ages, huge sheets of ice covered much of the Earth's land. Therefore, many areas that are now underwater were then dry land. A land bridge or strip of land connecting two continents probably connected Asia and North America. We'll take a look at that on the map in a few seconds. Settling new lands. Early hominids migrated from Africa to Asia about 2 million years ago. They eventually spread to India, China, Southeast Asia, and Europe. Humans then began to migrate to South Asia around 100,000 years ago. From South Asia, they moved to Europe, to North Asia, and then North America. By around 9,000 BC, humans lived on all continents except Antarctica. And from our projects, you know that they wouldn't go to Antarctica or live in Antarctica, obviously because of the climate. Let's take a look at an animated map. Uh, early human migration to 10,000 years ago. And you can take a look at the key here. Uh, the yellow is a fossil site, so fossils were found there. The red line eventually will pop up our uh, migration routes, um, ancient coastlines. Uh, you'll see the difference in coastlines uh, over this time. Uh, extent of last glacier, glacier and land exposed by lower sea level. It is thought that the first hominids appeared in East Africa about 4 million years ago. They were hunter-gatherers and moved from place to place in search of food to support their growing numbers. Most scientists think that Homo erectus was the first hominid to migrate out of Africa. Starting about one and a half million years ago, some Homo erectus moved north into Asia and Europe. Homo sapiens replaced Homo erectus about 100,000 to 250,000 years ago. They too moved out of Africa, but they used their skills and tools to build rafts to travel to Indonesia and eventually Australia. Between 20,000 and 35,000 years ago, an ice age froze huge amounts of the ocean's water. This caused sea levels to drop and exposed the Bering Land Bridge between Asia and North America. So you can see that a land bridge was created here between Asia, which is now Russia, or it's the Soviet Union, uh, to basically where Alaska is today. And this is where they were believed to be able to migrate uh, across. And if you look at this map, you'll see this white outline here, or blue outline, I should say, um, this was the ancient coastline, okay? The coastline today is where you see the green. So you can see that the coastline extended, you know, thousands of miles out further than it does today. Homo sapiens crossed the Bering Land Bridge and spread out into North America. Imagine being able to walk from Siberia to Alaska. The movement of glaciers pushed humans further south. Their migration took them all the way down to the tip of South America. 
The ice age ended about 10,000 years ago. Melting ice raised sea levels, and the Bering Land Bridge was once again swallowed by the sea. Humans were now living on every continent except Antarctica. Okay. And uh, you have a map um, in your uh, packet as well that kind of shows you um, what we were just taking a look at. Main idea too, people adapted to new environments by making clothing and new types of tools. As they moved out of Africa and they went to new environments, they had to adapt. They had to change and come up with uh, different um, clothing uh, for different climates and even different tools to do different things. So early people had to adapt to new environments. Uh, they learned how to sew animal skins together for clothing to keep them warm. They found new shelters such as pit houses and caves and then created structures made out of animal skins, wood, stone, and even bones. They also had to create new tools and technologies. New tools define the Mesolithic era, which is the Middle Stone Age. They invented hooks, fishing spears, and the bow and arrow. And then these new technologies, uh, uh, such as new technologies such as canoes and pottery as well. So you can imagine what they used the hooks for, right? And fishing spears, they obviously started to fish more as they found different uh, environments and eventually the bow and arrow, which could help them hunt much better. Uh, this is a, uh, a mammoth house. So this would be a, a possible type of shelter that they would have built. Early people used whatever was available to make shelters. So this is Central Asia where wood was scarce. So there wasn't a lot of wood there. So they had to use what was available to them. So some early people made their homes from mammoth bones. And you can see that they've used these mammoth bones to create, you know, kind of a, a frame for their shelter. Um, and then over the top of the frame, they would put uh, animal hides to form solid roof, uh, a solid roof and walls. To me, this almost looks like our modern, modern day tent, doesn't it? You have a frame and then you put uh, some type of fabric over the top um, to shield you from the elements like rain uh, and cold. And uh, that's it for uh, early human migration. And we'll talk more about that uh, as we get moving forward. Uh, after watching this video, uh, make sure that you uh, complete the assignment that follows.